We're two fish talking about the truth. We're two fish. Truth talks. Two fish talks. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Stripe. And I'm Kinky. And we're here today to talk with you about some more truth. Yeah. Hey, Pinky. Yeah? I've been thinking. Yeah? Well, you remember how you told me Jesus came to earth as a baby? Yeah. And he was so kind and good and helped people and healed them, taught them about God, and said we could call God Daddy? Yeah. And then he died on the cross. But he didn't stay dead. He came back to life? That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, Pinky, I have a question. Yeah. Why did Jesus have to come in the first place? Why did he have to do all that stuff? Hmm. Well, Jesus came because he is... Hmm. Well, Jesus came because he and Daddy God and the Holy Spirit love us. But why do he have to come and be a person and die on a cross? That really hurt him so much. Well, Stripe, you see, Daddy God wants us to know him and be in his family, right? Mm-hmm. But we have all said that we don't want to listen to him and done our own thing. No, I never said that. Well, I mean, God wants us to all be kind all the time to each other. But sometimes we're not. Yeah. That's called sin. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we don't want to share or work hard or do what we're supposed to do. Oh, right. Like when I threw my toy at my sister? Yeah. And when you threw that toy at your sister, did you get in trouble? Did your mom tell you not to? Yeah. And if I don't listen, then my mom takes the toy away. Right. Because if she didn't, that wouldn't be loving to your sister or you. And it wouldn't be fair. Because you wouldn't want your mom to let your sister do that to you, right? Mm, yeah. Well, Daddy God can't just pretend that we never disobeyed him or did mean things to each other and sinned. He made this world perfect, but we have broken it. We break it when we don't listen to his best way and we are unkind to each other. It's like telling God we don't want to be a part of his family. We just want to do our own thing and not listen to him. Oh, yeah. Well, why doesn't God just make us stop or take the world away from us? Like my mom took that toy away from me. I mean, we do deserve to get in trouble when we're naughty. Yeah, we do deserve it. But God didn't want us to get in trouble. And he didn't want us to stay broken and not be a part of his family. And if God hadn't helped us, we would just keep being in a big mess until we died. Yeah. So God and Jesus decided that he would come and fix it. Really? Yeah. When Jesus came to earth, he never disobeyed Daddy God. And he never did anything unkind. He was always loving, so he didn't deserve to get in trouble. Yeah. He never threw toys at his sister. Mm -mm. But some powerful people back then got jealous of Jesus and how so many people loved him and how he talked about God as daddy and how he said we could come to God if we would just believe and turn away from doing our own thing. They didn't like that. So they decided to kill him? Yeah, they put him on the cross. Why didn't Jesus just break off of there? He's so powerful. Jesus let them do it because he knew that if he died and took our punishment, then he could give us a new start. He could take our brokenness and sin and clean our hearts. We could come back to Daddy God and not be in trouble because Jesus would take our trouble away. So he died? Yeah. But the amazing thing is that because he had never sinned, he couldn't stay dead. Death could not hold him. He came back to life three days later. Death can only hold people that have sinned, like done naughty stuff. Death could hold us, but because now we believe and follow Jesus, death can't hold us either. We can have real life forever. Yay, yay. That's really amazing. Jesus loved us so much. Yeah, it makes me want to love him and live for him. And I read this story in the Bible when Jesus tells about what we're like to God. Yeah? It's about two boys and their dad. One of the boys did not want to listen to their dad. So he took their dad's money and went off and started being naughty, just living for himself, not caring about his dad or brother or anyone else. 
Well, he finally spends all his money and doesn't have anywhere to go. And he realizes what he's done. He's broken his relationship with his dad. I made him so sad, but he wouldn't listen. So he decides to go home and ask if he could just be a servant in his dad's house. He knows he deserves to be in trouble, and he thinks his dad will be mad. But when his dad sees him, he's not mad. He's so happy that his son has returned. He brings him the best clothes and has a big party for him. That's how God feels when we stop living for ourselves, huh? Yeah, and turn back to him. Yeah, let's watch it. Jesus also told them another story. Once a man had two sons. The younger son said to his father, Give me my share of the property. So the father divided the property between his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up everything he owned and left for a foreign country, where he wasted all his money in wild living. He had spent everything when a bad famine spread through that whole land. Soon he had nothing to eat. He went to work for a man in that country, and the man sent him out to take care of his pigs. He would have been glad to eat what the pigs were eating, but no one gave him a thing. Finally, he came to his senses and said, My father's workers had plenty to eat, and here I am starving to death. I'll go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I'm no longer good enough to be called your son. Treat me like one of your workers. The younger son got up and started back to his father. But when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt sorry for him. He ran to his son and hugged and kissed him. The son said, Father, I've sinned against God in heaven and against you. I'm no longer good enough to be called your son. But his father said to his servants, Hurry and bring the best clothes and put them on him. Give him a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Get the best calf and prepare it so we can eat and celebrate. This son of mine was dead, but has now come back to life. He was lost and has now been found. And they began to celebrate. that daddy God takes us back even though we've hurt him and been unkind and only thought about ourselves yeah it's called forgiveness yeah he just makes us clean and now he wants us to forgive others yeah I'm gonna tell all my friends about how much God loves him yeah me too we'll see you guys next time okay bye bye thanks for joining us on two fish truth talks we hope you join us next time so you can learn some more truth. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our shows. Bye. Bye.